Hey everybody, want to wheeze them here. It is exactly 2 a.m. Uh, Monday night to me, we can call it Tuesday. Uh, what is this, the 18th, something like that, of June? Uh, not really sure. Things have kind of been a blur here lately. Uh, what we're going to do now is we start a couple of recordings. First one, we're actually going to cover uh, our sudden death castaways versus Newlanders. Why wasn't this up on the weekend? It was a hectic weekend. Uh, more importantly, and it directly ties to two of my favorite characters here, uh, both in their series two poles, Terrafin and Slam Bam. Uh, in addition to last night having a really crazy storm that was not forecasted that actually took the power out, a uh, long interesting story there, uh, this past weekend one of my friends was in town. Uh, posted it on Twitter. She just happens to be a graphic artist. Uh, she was up from the Dallas area. Uh, made a pretty, pretty significant change to the blog. I'm not going to go into that yet. Kind of want to keep it, you know, later until after maybe we wrap up the E3 stuff. Needless to say, these two guys uh, rode with me, uh, meet with her, chat, whatnot, and. Uh, I'll just say that YouTube has done a lot of changes. I still haven't made the introductory video, but uh, you might be seeing these guys and some others maybe uh, somewhere on that page, other social networking sites. Uh, I'm just going to kind of time it. Uh, she's busy, I'm busy. Got to get things to line up, but uh, rest assured, uh, I think she's pretty good at what she does, and I think you will like uh, what she does, provided we can get it done. Uh, that's why these guys are here, but uh, getting back to the subject matter at hand, uh, I've already had a few people ask because I tweeted it, I guess because I was asked, but the computer is actually okay. I was really, really worried about it. Uh, the house has been hit before. It actually like fried the circuit boards and the uh, thermostat units and stuff. Uh, seems like it did something to a couple other appliances. I've lost... I don't know how it happened, but like I lost some of the files on a computer. Uh, this is a long, crazy story, but amazingly, everything's okay. I didn't lose any of the content. I haven't had time to edit and upload, and uh, that means I can go ahead now and not have to be in panic mode. <laughs> and uh, we can get back to this, which is our sudden death showdown here. If you recall, I want to say it was like round three of our castaways versus Newlanders. We actually had a tie. Uh, it was our only tie the entire time. The others were kind of due to the blogger vote issue, which has now been resolved. Uh, Camo and Pop Fizz, two juggernauts. Camo, of course, came in. I think they were both undefeated at the time, if I remember correctly. So big showdown early on. They actually tied. Uh, what we decided to do, you know, I asked people if you wanted to have it go into a tie or sudden death. It was sudden death. Um... Uh, just to keep things simple, I kept it until we were done with the tournament. Then we had them go head to head. Camo, our castaway life element Newlander, came in with a mark of 7 0 oh, 1. Uh, essentially, we were just going to take away that last one. It was a tie. And Pop Fizz came in with a mark of 5 2 and 1. Essentially, you had 7 0 oh, Camo and 5 and 2 Pop Fizz just in a brand new match from scratch. This time around, we had it open roughly a week. Again, uh, if you wonder why, like, the round one elemental showdowns, uh, can't really see it, but we'll take my word, Warnado and Jetvac are over here. Uh, reason why those had, like, upwards of 200 votes is simple. Left them open a while longer then just to expedite things and keep it fresh and new and interesting. Uh, went to a one-week time change. Uh, that said, that's what we kept for this one. And the final uh, vote tally, we had 49 people get their vote in that week, which is pretty impressive. I wasn't really able to push it much, uh, being out of town at E3 and everything. 61% uh, to 38%. Uh, we can go ahead and call that 62-38, 61-39, whatever you prefer. Uh, of the 49 total votes, it was a 30 to 19 margin. Uh, that's, of course, a plus 11 margin of victory. And the winner is the Life Element Castaway Camo. Uh, worked his magic. <laughs> the uh, melons going. Firecracker vines. He took out Pop Fizz, uh, the lovable alchemist, potion master, new element magic guy. Uh, 30 to 19. Pretty impressive win. Uh, more impressive. 
Camel, like in our live film and Castaway, he improved in the Castaway versus Newlander tournament to a mark of 8 0. That is, of course, undefeated, up from a 7 0 1, a uh, slight blemish with a tie mark. Uh, why is that important? He is our only undefeated character. Uh, that puts him in top spot right now uh, amongst both the Castaways and the Newlanders. Pop Fizz. Uh, Came in doing very, very well, obviously. Uh, had he have won and defeated Camo, he would have tied Hot Dog for the top spot amongst the Newlanders. As it turned out, with his 11 volt loss to Camo in the Sudden Death Showdown, he falls to a mark of 5 and 3. That's still way up there for the Newlanders. I mean, solid in second place, right behind 6 and 2 Hot Dog. In the broader scope of things, let's see, he is behind 8-0 Camo, 7-1 Ghost Roaster and Wham Shell, 6-2 uh, Sunburn, that's right, 5-3 uh, Dino Ring, 5-3 Boomer, 5-3 Warnado. So he's down there with the uh, 5, 6, and 7 guys overall in the uh, castaways, but... Uh, still, uh, what you need to take from that, Camo improves to 8-0, undefeated in the entire Castaway Newlanders tournament. And then Pop Fizz, with the motion of the potion, improved, fell to 5-3, and three, rather, uh, which is still good enough for second place amongst the Newlanders. Other poll that we ran simultaneous to that one, I think I <clears throat> left it up a day longer, or a couple hours or something, uh, was actually... What do you want to see? And uh, moving forward, that is. <clears throat> Essentially, I left you with two options. Uh, I said, hey, we can come in. You know, for example, Camo is now the number one seed, 8 0 undefeated. No one can touch him. Similarly, all alone at the bottom is Chill, who is at 0 and 8. Uh, we could have essentially come in and had 1 versus 16, you know, and then in the other bracket, 2 versus 8, etc. Or I left the option open, and it's actually what I preferred, where we come in and uh, see if we can tilt this for you. We would have Warnado battle Dino Ring, uh, Sunburn go up against Camo, Voodoo, Boomer, uh, Wham Shell, Ghost Roaster, etc. And then in the next round, we'd have you know Warnado, Sunburn, etc. Uh, similarly, we would do the same thing with the Newlanders. Uh, Jetvac versus Flashwing, Shroom Boom versus Sprocket, and essentially we just same thing we did here with the Castaways Newlanders. Uh, we would take, you know, say Chill. You know, she starts out against, uh, we'll say Fright Rider. And then next round she's Sprocket. Uh, then she's up against Shroom Boom, then Pop Fizz, and Flashwing, then Jetvac, etc. Essentially, there will be uh, what an additional seven matches here. Uh, Chill and Camel are good examples, or opposite ends of the standings. We'll say that Camel goes through and he takes down all of his fellow castaways. Uh, Warnado, Dino Ring, Sunburn, Voodoo, Boomer, Ghost Roaster, Wham Shell. He would have a mark of 7-0 and in the Castaways versus Castaways tournament. Uh, that would put him 8-0 plus 7-0, 15-0, perfect mark. Uh, chill on the flip side. Lost every match to the Castaways. We'll say that she went down the line of Fright Rider, Sprocket, Shroom Boom, Pop Fizz, Flashwing, Jetvac. Lost all those. She would have a mark of 0-7. We would couple that with her performance against the Castaways, where she was 0-8. She would be 0-15. And, and then, from those final standings, that is essentially where we would populate the bracket Again, in that case, we would have the number one seed Camo going up against the number 16 seed Chill. Uh, then coming over here to the opposite side, we have like our number two and three seed. It's going to be a deal where uh, as much as I would love to have a Castaway versus Newlander in every matchup, obviously uh, we'll say we had Camo and Sunburn uh, in these top two brackets against Newlanders. If they both win, they're going to face each other. Uh, there's really no workaround for that, so essentially uh, we should keep the perspective, you know, that these are 16 unique characters, 8 being castaways, 8 are Newlanders, and uh, take it from there. <laughs> uh, luckily, luckily uh, again, I thought that would kind of be a cool route to go just because, one, while the Newlanders, a lot of them struggled against the castaways in this tournament, I feel like when they battle one another... Uh, particularly, you know, like Chill, Jetwing, 
I'm sorry, Chetvac, Flashwing, Shroomboom, Sprocket. The ones that maybe didn't perform quite as well as like say Pop Fizz and Hot Dog that really went in with it to every match with a chance to win. Uh, we will essentially see them have a chance to kind of up their records. You know, they might have good marks here as opposed to just like winless or one win, etc. Similarly, uh, Castaways versus Castaways. We're going to have some killer matchups there. I mean, we can finally, uh, I think a few of them fell in one of our earlier tournaments. But uh, Camo Sunburn, Camo Whamshell, Camo Ghost Roaster. Uh, just a ton of awesome matchups there. Similarly, I think a lot of the Newlander matches will be much more competitive. Uh, ultimately, you know, if we decide to, we can weigh things, kind of put a heavier percentage on the Castaway versus Newlander end. Uh, essentially, I would like double that win total, and then we'd come in and count Newlander, Newlander, just as the seven mark. You know, perfect record would be seven and zero, uh, and take it from there. But I think uh, this is going to work out pretty well. Like I said, uh, apparently everyone, most of you, uh, agreed with my logic there. The final breakdown there, we have 45 votes, 30 to 15 margin, so essentially two and three of you kind of agreed with what I was hoping would happen. And uh, again, as much as I'd like to just go ahead and seed the tournament bracket with what we got from our Castaway Newlander matches, Going about it this route is going to be pretty cool just because of the extra content in terms of really, really good showdowns. Boomer Voodooed, uh, Dino Ring Warnado is going to be tight. Uh, I mean, geez, looking at our new landers, I mean, <laughs> you've got Ghost Roaster, Whamshell, 7 and 1, Camo Undefeated. And then on the flip side, I mean, with our new landers, Chill, as I mentioned, is 0 and 8, but catch this. Uh, you know, Hot Dog 6 and 2, Pop Fizz 5 and 3, Fright Rider 3 and 5 was in 3rd place. 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, that being Jet Vac, Flashwing, uh, Shroom Boom, and Sprocket, all 1 and 7. Uh, by having those guys go head to head, something's got to give. Somebody's going to move up, somebody's going to move down. Uh, it'll kind of clear out the standings as, as opposed to having like clusters of 3 and 4. We're probably going to break that down, kind of have some clear-cut rankings for the tournament. But uh, the setup will be basically the same thing. I'm going to come in, we'll do a week at a time. Uh, it'll be right-hand side of the blog, just below the Twitter feed. Uh, what I may do, uh, Camel, for example, uh, his first match, we'll say, would be against Sunburn. I would have Camel 8-0 versus Sunburn 6-2. We'll just say, theoretically, Camel 1. Uh, in the next matchup, we'll say Camo played Dino Ring. Uh, I'd have Camo 8-0, and, and then another set of parentheses, 1-0. That would be his performance against the Castaways. Uh, we'll say Dino Ring also won. You'd see 5-2 and two in parentheses, and then 1-0 and oh in parentheses, etc. So uh, I think it'll all make sense once you see it. I'll explain it again when we actually set the matches up. Uh, when will I do that? Possibly tomorrow. Uh, again, the storms last night kind of messed my plans up, but uh, I think it's going to be really, really fun. And uh, most importantly, in addition to the awesome matches we have scattered, uh, you know, throughout those matches, um, going to be real competitive. I think not only on the castaway side, but also on the Newlander end of things. So I'm pretty excited about it. But uh, that again will essentially be seven matches. What I'll do, uh, for example, we'll say we start over here, uh, Tornado versus Dino Ring. I'll go through, I'll list out the other matches in the, uh, you know, castaway end of things. Then right below those we'll have Jet Vac, Flashwing, etc. And uh, I won't divide it out, you know, or we, like drag this out too terribly long. Essentially in like six to eight weeks, you know, seven, we're splitting the difference there. Uh, we should have everything wrapped up on that end, and uh, we will take it from there and kind of combine the stats. That's when we'll do the tournament. And then at that point in time, we can kind of jump off and uh, get back into like some massive seating. We can get the Giants involved. We'll just kind of play it by ear, see what people want. Uh, I may get the polls up before the video. Uh, it's going to kind of depend. Uh, tomorrow, the Spurs have a chance to take the title against the Heat. Uh, plan on catching that um, 
well, it's basketball is over. We just kind of have baseball. I know hockey's still going. It's almost done. But uh, I do enjoy baseball. Uh, you know, it's just kind of until it hits October, you know, it's, uh, there's a bunch of games, 162 or whatever. So, uh, you know, I'll catch some Ranger games and whatnot. But once basketball's done, that's kind of it. We just have baseball and uh, then you have to wait to football season. So, uh probably going to watch that while I have the game on, uh, particularly if it's like a blowout or something. You never know what's going to happen in that series. I'll try to get the polls up, and then I'll come in, set the matches up here on the pool table, walk you through them, and uh, we will take it from there. So stay tuned for that. Uh, big thanks to everybody that voted in this past Sudden Death matchup between Camo and Pop Fizz. Also, thank you for your input on what you'd like to see next. Uh, more importantly in that regard, I'm, gl I'm glad that you agreed with me. Uh, in my opinion, again, like I've said before, despite how nice it would be to just go ahead and set the tournament up based on what we have, uh, there's just some really, really good matches on both the Castaway side of the line and the Newlander side. So going to be fun to have those guys go head-to-head. -head and, uh, you know, we'll take it from there, combine the stats, and then enter the tournament. So I think it'll work for everybody. Uh, again, basically seven more rounds of this. And uh, then we'll have the tournament in the swing. So uh, that's that. Again, I should have the polls up. Uh, if not before the game, sometime shortly thereafter. Uh, then the video will follow suit shortly after that. But what I'm going to do next, uh, that Power A Skylander Pro Pack Mini kind of taunting me back there. Uh, I really want to see what color the button illuminations are. Plus... That will actually finally give me a Wiimote dedicated for the Wii U. That's going to be a perk. Uh, I'd actually planned to pick up, I think I mentioned it when I was in uh, Los Angeles at E3. They actually had that monochromatic aqua one in the display case. I actually, I think in the video now that I took with the iPad mini, I specifically stopped and said that's the one I was going to pick up. Uh, that was before uh, Power A generously gave us you know, some gear and everything. So... Uh, still may pick that up just because it looks awesome but i'm gonna unbox that one i want to see how it lights up see how it feels i'll compare it to a regular wiimote for you and uh, like i said then i no longer have to pull covers off and sync everything with the uh, wii u so pretty excited about that but uh again big thanks to everybody that has voted thus far uh, i think we're gonna have a good time as we go forward with castaways and castaways and the new landers versus new landers so uh, like i said you should see all that tomorrow technically you know later today if you will but uh we'll leave it at that i'm gonna quit rambling uh, maybe if i do that i can get the polls up tonight we'll see what happens but uh big thanks for voting uh thanks for letting me know what you want to see we did finally get our sudden death match in for everybody and uh now we're ready to proceed so uh, again, the polls will be right-hand side of the blog, just below the Twitter feed. Uh, make sure you select your choice, click submit or vote, whichever it is, and uh, come back, monitor the results, tell your friends, pull for your favorites. Uh, like I said, there's going to be some really, really close matches, I think, the way we're going to break it down. So, uh, As always, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Uh, there will be a blog link at the top of the video description box. Be sure to check that out. And until next time, we will uh, catch you later.